Well, I am sure you weren't expecting this for the yearly Micah's Boom upload, were you? Let's have a little bit of a nostalgia trip, shall we? Hello, you sex beasts, and welcome back to War Thunder. This is the Panther 2, a vehicle that you can no longer get. It is quite old at this point and has since been removed from research and will likely never make it back, sadly. Awesome of us. <laughs> I have a dart mine in a very nice watermelon skin, bottom text, and today we shall bring it out and see how it performs. Ooh, this ain't ideal. We are in a full up tier. Uh, by the way, little PSA, the way you can check if you are in an up tier or a down tier is by looking at the spawn point costs when you first try to spawn in. Uh, for medium tanks, it ranges from 100 to 150, I believe. At 100 spawn points, it means that you are in a full up tier. At 150 spawn points, it means you are in a full down tier. Sadly, 100 spawn points, we are in a full up tier. So we can expect to be facing some rather, rather heavy opposition. Now, as you can see, the Panther 2 is rather mobile. This is an in basically an entirely paper design. The way the Panther 2 is in War Thunder is not realistic one bit. That is a track. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Okay, I'm good. That seems to be an M26 Pershing, actually. I should be able to go through the front of that if I don't get shot before. Ah, an M46 it was, actually. Okay, not much I could do that. This recording is going very poorly already. <laughs> I think I'll just have to scrap this one. It's just a test anyway. It'll, it's fine. It'll be fine. Don't you worry. What's the worst that could happen? Everything. M46 is a bit tougher to take down with APHE. I could probably still do it if I had time to aim for weak spots, but I do not want to spend any time in front of that gun, because at this better rate the Panther 2 will not have enough armor for anything, really. Uh, it's still... Okay, it's a slightly better perhaps than the regular Panthers, but it is still the same old third weak spot. This has the Schmalturm, kind of like the Panther uh, 1F which means that it is very easy to go through that flat turret front. And even the hull at this battery rating is not going to be much of a help because you are going to be facing enemies that do have access to heat FS and APDS. Maybe even some APFS DS at 7.7 could maybe have some tanks with that already. I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> but in that case, the point is you are not going to be able to rely on your armor at all whatsoever. Thankfully, the Panther does bring a pretty good gun. It doesn't have quite the highest penetration values. It is basically the same gun as on the King Tiger. So you have a very, very good performing APHE shell, but it is going to struggle a bit against the more heavily armored targets that you may find at this bad rating, like the M103s, for example, which are uh, very, very um, terrifying to face off against. Let's just say that. <laughs> But for the most part, you have a very good gun which can one-shot anything from the side and you have it all on a platform that is decently mobile. For a German medium tank anyway, right? This is still a German tank, so you are not going to have the most amazing mobility archer. It's not wheeled or anything like that. But it does have a pretty good uh, power-to-weight ratio. It has a 900 horsepower engine on a Panther chassis, which is more than enough, really. Also, unlike the other Panthers, it has some reverse gears, so it is actually able to also do some reversing. That is a Spitfire trying to take down our Weasel and our ZSU-57. I hope both of those can actually deal with that. They are SVA, so... The problem is the ZSU-57 is an open-top vehicle, so it may struggle a little bit. Uh, the Spitfire doesn't seem to be very good at aiming, though, and so he died. Very good, very nice. I should probably be going for the capture point on B so we can actually get the advantage here. Oh, hello. That is a Super Hellcat. Not the most dangerous vehicle to face in this uh, Panther, but still. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. That hurt. That hurt quite a bit. I need to repair. Can I repair in time before the guy makes it? Oh, and no, an SCRV-81 got me from where? Oh, right behind me. I didn't even see the guy. <laughs> well, I have sadly run out of spawn points for my Panther 2, so I will bring out the next rarity, the King Tiger 105. 
Much like the Panther II, this was one of the original German vehicles in the game, back when top tier was this versus the IS-3 and T-54s, I believe, for the Russian side. And it has also since been removed from research. New players can no longer get this vehicle. Only old players who had to research it by the time it was removed still have access to it. This is basically just a slightly improved Tiger II. It has a better engine, which allows it to move a bit faster. It has an optical rangefinder, which does allow you to pin, basically pinpoint accurately determine the range at over two kilometers. I think it's up to three kilometers, something like that, which makes this actually very good at uh, long range maps, especially combined with this gun. This is a unique gun to the King Tiger 105. It's a as the name says, 105mm KWK, what was it, 40-something? KWK L8, L68, it doesn't even have a year designation because it didn't ever really get put into production. See, this was, much like the Panther II, a completely paper design. The gun would have never actually fit in the breach. I think there was a proposal for this tank drew, drawn on a napkin, on a napkin somewhere, but it didn't go past that stage. And that is why it has since been removed. But it's still a pretty potent vehicle here in War Thunder. You do pay a little bit uh, in comparison to King Tiger. It does have the same bash rating, by the way, and for a very good reason. Even though it seems like a flat upgrade overall, the gun is a little bit of a downgrade because it does have a rather long reload. This 105 meter cannon, even on an aced crew, has a 15 second reload which is a lot. It's a, it's doubled than that of the uh, long 88 mm gun. And it doesn't really do anything that much better than the long 88 does. Yes, you're going to have a bit of a better performance at longer ranges, absolutely. And you will be able to penetrate a few tanks that the long 88 will not be able to. But overall, it doesn't pay off for the double, uh, doubled up reload speed. It still retains the same weaknesses as the King Tiger, of course, with a, a rather weak side armor and... Ooh, that was a big explosion. A rather weak side armor and still the same old turret front weakness. And his bad running, of course, you're also going to be facing some vehicles that have APFS, APDS and bombs! Ow! You're going to be facing vehicles with APDS, which can clean cut, cl cut clean through your upper frontal plate, which is not ideal. There is a tank on that side, by the way. Or, well, there was, but he died. Now, I am in a rather precarious position over here. I don't know why I came back here, to be honest. Oh, hello. Can I MG this guy? Ah, uh, the machine gun sadly doesn't have enough elevation to really do much against higher flying planes. And that guy wasn't even flying that high. It was a pretty shallow attack. That's another one of those drawbacks. Oh, no. Okay, I'm good. I'll just retreat a little bit. Hello. Oh, that's a pecan. Oh, no. Okay. I think I got his gunner or something. And now here's the question. Can I actually reload before he kills me? Uh, he's trying. He's trying. And boop. No. And boop. No. Damn it. Ah. Uh, and there is the perfect example. <laughs> the reload is just too long. When you get into situations like this, a normal 88mm gun would have actually saved me. I would have been able to kill the Bacan at least. Uh, if not the other guy as well. But since I have that 15 second reload, I was just overwhelmed. It is not as good at close range fighting as the regular King Tiger is. Now we are winning the game pretty handily, so I don't have much of a choice right now because I haven't really been performing well, but I will bring out the Kugelblitz to deal with those enemy aircraft that have been pestering my team. Very important always to have some um, anti-air in your lineup, especially the Germans. They have probably the best anti-air vehicles available at this bad rating and below and up to a certain point above as well. The Kugelblitz in particular is a very nice vehicle because with this belt that you can unlock, which gives you two very good meaning shots shells, so the same ones as you can find on, for example, the um, ME262, they do a lot of damage. Uh, you can also find a HVAP shell, which allows you to deal up with tanks to a certain degree. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> that is the Minengeschoss shell in action. It just absolutely destroys anything it hits. 
The HMAP shell does allow you to go up against tanks to a certain degree. It does have 90... Oh, it used to have 90, 95 millimeters of penetration. That has been nerfed since. It is now 77, so you're going to struggle a little bit more against tanks. But it should still be enough to deal with uh, can barrels, tracks, and get up on the side of most tanks to destroy them. Also, when you find, off, when you find the occasional uh, Hellcat, or that Super Hellcat from earlier in the match, it's absolutely going to destroy them. <laughs> Oh, the 109G has killed itself, apparently, with the bombs. I think the guy forgot to put on the uh, defuse timer. Did kill the Bacando, that's good. Even though we have the fast fire rate to deal with uh, stuff like the Bacan, it is a bit scary to face, given it's a very big explosive shell. Now, something is on C right now. I may be able to help, but I'm the only one here. And depending on what it is, I may actually not be able to deal with it. So we'll do a little bit of scouting, yeah? Very theoretically speaking. Keep in mind, this thing does not have any scouting abilities. And he's probably going to be hearing my engine before I arrive. Oh, hello. Yep. That's something small, actually. I, sh I could be able to kill that. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me do a little RT right there. <clears throat> if he moves, I will move out. Yep, he's moving. And is he dead? No, he's not dead yet. There we go. No, he's dead. Ah, it was an R3 a T106. I could have actually have attacked him then. See? The R3 T106. What was that shooting me? The R3 T106 does have the uh, twin 106mm recoilless rifles, which can't really shoot through these fences, whereas I can. So I could have actually taken the advantage there, but it is better safe than sorry. I was the only one in this area, and I would rather play it safe and survive and capture the capture point instead of rushing blindly into danger. Especially when he was entirely aware I was in that position. Now, I see a plane coming in. I could actually deal with this guy if he flies this way. I don't think he's flying away. He's flying away. I don't have the range for that. Well, the 13 meter cannons are pretty good. They don't have the biggest range out there. I think they reach up to 2.5, 3 kilometers at best, if you are lucky. Stuff like the Flak Panzer 341 is much better suited to that. Even though it's only a 37mm cannon, which doesn't seem that much bigger, it does have a much higher reach than these 30s. Oh, it seems like it's coming back, actually. Huh. It is a biplane. I'm going to assume that's maybe a Jacoby from the... Actually, no, that doesn't, that doesn't look like a Jacoby. I see, maybe I can do some long-range sniping here. Ooh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Okay, hold on. Get the tracks. Get the can barrel. Can I get the can barrel? I couldn't quite get the can... I, get, I got the can barrel. Okay, I got the can barrel. That's good. The 50s can actually destroy me here, so I need to be careful. Can I destroy the upper 50? Okay, I destroyed the upper 50. Something else hit me instead. Uh, that is the T26. I'm not going to deal with that. I only need to survive for a second here. As long as I survive, I'm fine. I have gotten the can barrel. I think this is good. I think we're good. I think we are good. Can I survive? Come on, tickets, please. Tickets, please. Yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> Saved by the bell. Couldn't really take the guy down from the front, but thanks to the very good performance of this cannon, I could take down the track and the cannon barrel and survive until the end of the match to gain 7.5k RP and 35,000 silver lions. Not having used any premium vehicle, but I also have nothing else left to research, so... Well, this wasn't the best match out there. As you can see, I only got three kills in total. One of those was that aircraft kill, which was pretty neat. Uh, one to one KD, not the best, but still, since I stayed in the match and I still tried to play in a way to support my team, I was actually still able to get second place in the team overall. Which is not bad at all, given that performance as well. Now, if you want to get your hands on the Panther 2, you sadly can't. As I mentioned before, this is one of those removed vehicles that only old school players still have access to. No one else will likely ever be able to get this vehicle again, since it was removed due to, well, not really being a realistic design. This cannon would have never fit in the damn turret. I mean, look at that. I got to, to, to go inside. 
it doesn't even have a breach modeled. Because it would be impossible. So yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If I decide to actually put it up, this is basically just a big test right now. I'm trying to figure out my microphone settings again. And uh, hopefully it sounds pretty good. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, thank you much for watching this video. My name has been Mike Goes Boom. I hope you enjoyed this trip down Nostalgia Lane. And I shall see you again soon. If not on here, then on the... Alarm! Shut up! If not here, then on the War Thunder official channel. Goodbye. You can lift your head up to the sky. Take a deeper breath and give it time. You can walk the path among the lines. With your shattered frame of mind. There is that you could always stay. We can wait right here and play. Until somehow you...